Stoic Smart Green Book Grammar. Lesson One. Grammar point. One. Book. Girl. Student. Family. People. Class. Team. A dog. Dogs. A tooth. Teeth. A boy, an apple, two cats, three dolls, many books, a few friends, several days, two, love, beauty, air, water, paper, chalk, Seoul, Korea. Franklin. Happiness. Milk. Lincoln. A bread. An advice. Two sheets of paper. Three pieces of chalk. A little juice. Much sugar. There are three schools in this town. School begins at eight thirty. Three. Books. Caps, cats, cards, buses, boxes, dishes, radios, zoos, baby, babies, story, stories, boys, days, monkeys, knife. Knives, wife, wives, leaf, leaves, roofs, safes, chiefs, man, men, woman, women, goose, geese, tooth, teeth, ox. Oxen, child, children, sheep, deer, fish, salmon. Grammar exercise. One. I have two dogs. Two. There are three books on the table. Three. My little brother has a tooth. Four. I ate three pieces of pizza. Five. Do you want a cup of coffee? Six. She ate two bananas. Seven. There is a girl in the garden. Eight. I have an apple. Nine. Jim has read many books. Ten. Three children are playing on the ground. Eleven. There are three women in my family. Twelve. Many sheep are eating grass on the field. Thirteen. In the fall, leaves fall down from the trees. Fourteen, several wives are cooking in the kitchen for the party. Fifteen, during the thunderstorm, some roofs of the houses in the village were broken. Sixteen, there used to be two churches in my hometown when I was young. Seventeen, here come two buses. Eighteen, school starts at nine in the morning. Nineteen. I'm thirsty. I need a glass of water. 
twenty. There are three schools in that village. Grammar test. One. I go to school on foot. Two. I want to buy a book. Three. There is much milk in the bottle. Four. She has ten CDs of Christina Aguilera. Five. A lot of mice are in the barn. Six. Cooks always use knives. Seven. I met some Japanese in New York. Eight. Many Chinese live in Seoul. Nine. I love to take care of babies. Ten. I'd like to tell you two short stories. One. Three children are playing on the ground. Two. There are three women in my family. Three. Many sheep are eating grass on the field. Four. School starts at nine in the morning. Five. I go to school on foot. Six. I want to buy a book. Seven. There is much milk in the bottle. Eight. I love to take care of babies. Nine. Do you want a cup of coffee? Ten. I have many books. Lesson two. Grammar point. One. I can swim very well. She can swim very well. He cannot swim very well. Can he swim? Two. She can drive a car. Drinking can be dangerous. Can I go there? She could swim. She was able to swim. You will be able to skate in a week. May I swim here? It may be true. Wherever you may go, I will follow you. You may learn English by television. You must go there. It must be an apple. We ought to help him. It ought to be fine tomorrow. He will go there next Friday. He will often sit up all night. Dogs will bark at strangers. The door will not open. He would often go climbing on Sundays. He would have his own way. Would you mind my smoking? We should love our neighbors. It is a pity that he should tell a lie. He used to come here. There used to be a house here. Grammar exercise. One, I can play the piano, but my brother can't. Two, he will go to school next year. Three, he doesn't have to study English today. Four, can your brother play basketball? Five, I will have to study French next year. Six. I am going to visit my aunt on Monday. Seven, you will be a good artist. Eight, you must not bring a pet. Nine, you must not cross the street when the light is red. Ten, may I use your dictionary? Eleven, she will meet you. Twelve. Is she able to swim well? Thirteen. I will be a scientist. Fourteen. You must be careful on the street. 
Fifteen. Life will be easy and comfortable in the future. Sixteen. My brother is able to speak Japanese. Seventeen. I will play the violin after school. Eighteen. I will be fourteen years old next year. Nineteen. Have you completed the homework? No, but I ought to. Twenty. I can't see the blackboard very well. Perhaps you need to have your eyes examined. Grammar test. One. You don't have to go there. Two. In order to cure the disease, they must study together. Three. She isn't able to dance well. Four. I will play baseball tomorrow. Five. He doesn't have to go to the piano lesson. Six. The owl can see well in the dark, but it still can hunt well at night. Seven. They have got to hurry if they are going to catch their train. Eight. Because I am her advisor, I think that I ought to tell her the news. Nine. I usually play computer games at night. You had better not do that. Ten. Would you like me to go to the dentist's with you? No, you need not go with me. One. I can play the piano, but my brother can't. Two. She doesn't have to study English today. Three. I am going to visit my aunt on Monday. Four. You must not cross the street when the light is red. Five. May I use your dictionary? Six. My brother is able to speak Japanese. Seven. I will play the violin after school. Eight. I will be fourteen years old next year. Nine. In order to cure the disease, they must study together. Ten. They have got to hurry if they are going to catch their train. Lesson three. Grammar point. One. This is a beautiful flower. He is a tall boy. There are many books on the desk. Two. The six little boys. Those many tall trees. My two young sisters. I want something hot to drink. There is nothing strange. Nothing great is easy. Three. The flower is beautiful. He is tall. I found this book difficult. Four. Afraid, alike, alive, alone, asleep, awake, aware. There is a sleeping baby in the room. Grammar exercise. One. Anne has pretty dolls. Two. I saw a small dog. Three. I found the boy cute. Four. She is afraid of snakes. Five. They are just alike. Six. I was alone. Seven. She is a kind girl. Eight. I have a thick book. Nine. There are many toys in the store. Ten. He's asleep. Eleven. There is an old dog in the park across the street. Twelve. 
Mum was aware of it. 13. The late Mr. Johnson was a good teacher. 14. I was late for class. 15. What is your present address? 16. All the students were present. 17. Raise your right hand. 18. We had much snow last year. 19. There are two books in my bag. 20. You are right. Grammar test. One. This is an interesting book. Two. You will need much money if you want to buy the car. Three. He has few friends. Four. There are only two bus stops. We need more. Five. We bought a little food at the supermarket. Six. I didn't see anything strange. Seven. I am interested in reading books. Eight. Give me something hot. Nine. I like those little cats. Ten. Mrs. Johnson went out to buy some bread. One. I found the boy cute. Two. She is afraid of snakes. Three. There is an old dog in the park across the street. Four. Mom was aware of it. Five. I was late for class. Six. All the students were present. Seven. We had much snow last year. Eight. This is an interesting book. Nine. I didn't see anything strange. Ten. Mrs. Johnson went out to buy some bread. Lesson four. Grammar point. One. Tall, taller, tallest. Strong, stronger, strongest. Nice, nicer, nicest. Wide, wider, widest. Easy, easier, easiest. Pretty, prettier, prettiest. Big, bigger, biggest. Hot, hotter. Hottest. Famous, more famous, most famous. Expensive, more expensive, most expensive. Good, well, better, best. Bad, ill, worse, worst. Many, much, more, most. Little, less, least. Old, elder, eldest. Old, older, oldest. Late, later, last. Late, later, latest. Two. Yesterday was worse than today. The black car is more expensive than the white car. Which do you like better, baseball or basketball? She is getting fatter and fatter. He is much taller than I. She is as old as Tom. I get up as early as Mom. The moon isn't as big as the Earth. She is the prettiest girl in our class. This is the most interesting book of all. Seoul is the biggest city in Korea. Grammar exercise. One. A rabbit is faster than a turtle. Two. China is larger than Korea. 
three. I got up earlier than she. Four. He isn't as nice as he seems. Five. The space shuttle rose higher and higher. Six. Let's take the bus. It's much cheaper. Seven. This is the longest river in the world. Eight. I don't go shopping as much as you. Nine. Are oranges more expensive than apples? Ten. The church is very old. It's the oldest building in the town. Eleven. It's easier to call than to write a letter. Twelve. Canada is much bigger than Japan. Thirteen. You go out more than I. Fourteen. Excuse me, where is the nearest bank? Fifteen. Ben is a better swimmer than Liz. Sixteen. Which do you like better? Soccer or tennis? Seventeen. It got darker and darker. Eighteen. The ice cream is more delicious than the bread. Nineteen. He is the youngest of all the teachers. Twenty. Run as fast as you can. Grammar test. One. The test was not easy. It kept getting harder and harder. Two. He's much busier than he was before. Three. First class is better than economy class. Four. It's the most expensive hotel in Seoul. Five. This question is the most difficult of all. Six. I don't play tennis as often as you. Seven. Soccer is more popular than tennis. Eight. Last night, the restaurant was more crowded than usual. Nine. A car is much more expensive than a motorcycle. Ten. Money is important, but it isn't the most important thing in life. One. Are oranges more expensive than apples? Two. I don't go shopping as much as you. Three. Let's take the bus. It's much cheaper. Four. He isn't as nice as he seems. Five. China is larger than Korea. Six. It's easier to call than to write a letter. Seven. Excuse me. Where is the nearest bank? Eight. Which do you like better, soccer or tennis? Nine. Run as fast as you can. Ten. It's the most expensive hotel in Seoul. Lesson five. Grammar point. One. He can speak English fluently. She plays the piano very well. Mom slowly reads the story to us. Mary is always late. She always comes late. I usually have breakfast at seven. She often goes to the movies. That man often comes to see me. Two. There is a very tall building. This book is very interesting. Three. They worked pretty hard. They can swim very well. She is rich enough to buy the house. It is good enough for me. He sings well enough. We got up early enough to catch the first train. Four. Perhaps it will rain in the evening. Fortunately, 
No one was hurt in the accident. Grammar exercise. One. He can speak English fluently. Two. He plays the guitar very well. Three. You are rich enough to buy the car. Four. She always comes late. Five. Father slowly told the story to his son. Six. I usually have breakfast at eight in the morning. Seven. She often goes to the movies. Eight. We enjoyed the film very much last night. Nine. It will possibly snow tomorrow. Ten. Surprisingly, he did not know what happened. Eleven. I am so glad to meet you. Twelve. James walked very carefully. Thirteen. The movie is very interesting. Fourteen. I had some cake and he had some too. Fifteen. He is not a doctor and I am not either. Sixteen. I met her two months ago. Seventeen. John will be back this Sunday. Eighteen. I usually watch TV on Sundays. Nineteen. He worked hard on school days. Twenty. I'm so thirsty. Grammar test. One. Jane speaks Korean very well. Two. I never go to bed early at night. Three. Mr. Johnson often has hamburgers for lunch. Four. I saw the movie yesterday. Five. I will be a teacher someday. Six. Your car is so powerful. Seven. Thank you very much. Eight. I always drive my car very carefully. Nine. I love to see the baby all the time. Ten. You are probably right. One. He can speak English fluently. Two. You are rich enough to buy the car. Three. I usually have breakfast at eight in the morning. Four. It will possibly snow tomorrow. Five. I am so glad to meet you. Six. The movie is very interesting. Seven. He is not a doctor, and I am not either. Eight. Jane speaks Korean very well. Nine. I saw the movie yesterday. Ten. I always drive a car very carefully. Lesson six. Grammar point. One. I like an apple and a banana. Did she go to school by bus or on foot? I live in Seoul and she lives in Busan. Two. Anne is cooking dinner and Tom is cleaning his room. Save your time and you'll succeed. She is rich but unhappy. This is not a goat but a sheep. Which do you want to play, baseball or basketball? Get up early, or you'll miss the train. The water was dirty, so we didn't go swimming. They were hungry, so they had some food. Three. That he was a pianist is true. 
It is true that he was a pianist. I think that he is clever. The fact is that he is a thief. When I was walking down the street, I met her. I left home before he arrived. They played soccer after school was over. She has lived here since she was born. I'll wait for you until you come back. We can play baseball if it doesn't rain. Though he was poor, he was happy. Grammar exercise. One, I was playing the violin and she was playing the piano. Two, hurry up or you will be late. Three, when I was a child, I used to go to the lake. Four, you, he, and I are friends. Five, I turned off the light before I went out. Six, I think that she is honest. Seven, I have loved you since I saw you. Eight, I'll stay here until she comes. Nine, I bought a newspaper, but I didn't read it. Ten, it was too hot, so I opened the door. Eleven, she is hungry because she didn't have breakfast. Twelve, it was late and I was tired, so I went to bed early. Thirteen, it's a nice house, but it doesn't have a garage. Fourteen, though I like basketball, I have never played it. Fifteen, we cannot go on a picnic if it rains. Sixteen, I will do my homework before I go to bed. Seventeen, do it at once and you can finish it. Eighteen, both you and I are happy. Nineteen, I think it will rain for it's getting dark. Twenty, this is not a boy but a girl. Grammar test. One, which do you like better, spring or fall? Two, he is young but wise. Three, they believe that he would win the game. Four, did you go out last night or did you stay home? Five, if we don't hurry up, we'll be late. Six, when I went out, it was raining. Seven, I will wait here until you come back. Eight, she likes both you and me. Nine, study hard or you will fail the exam. Ten, because it was cold, I didn't swim. One, I was playing the violin and she was playing the piano. Two, hurry up or you will be late. Three, you, he, and I are friends. Four, I turned off the light before I went out. Five, I'll stay here until she comes. Six, it was late and I was tired, so I went to bed early. Seven, do it at once and you can finish it. Eight, both you and I are happy. Nine, this is not a boy but a girl. Ten, though I like basketball, I have never played it. Lesson seven. Grammar point. One. I am afraid of dogs. Thank you for inviting me. The pen on the desk is yours. 
two, at six o'clock, at twelve, at noon, at Christmas, at Easter, at the age of, at the end of. He was busy at the moment. At the window, at the bus stop. He arrived at L.A. airport. On May tenth, on Friday. On Christmas Day, at Christmas. On Sunday morning, on weekends. What are you going to do on the weekend? On the ceiling, on the wall, on her cheek. Don't sit on the bench; it's wet. There is a book on the chair. You should read the book on the subject. In May, in 1965, in winter, in the 20th century, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. He will return in a month. She will get married in a year. I live in Washington. There's no one in the building. For two years. For five hours, for a week. There's a bridge over the river. There's your bag under the desk. He climbed up the mountain. He went down the steps. The frogs jumped into the pond. He ran out of the classroom. He left for Beijing. There's a tree between the house and the fence. He is among the people. Grammar exercise. One. I get up at seven. Two. I go to church on Sundays. Three. It's a book on China. Four. Conway lives in Ireland. Five. There's a little bird at the window. Six. Can you see that fly on the ceiling? Seven. I was born in May. Eight. She goes jogging in the morning. Nine. The show starts at nine o'clock. Ten. He left for Seoul. Eleven. There is a theater between the hotel and the hospital. Twelve, he stands among the people. Thirteen, she put a ring on her finger. Fourteen, I was so busy at the moment. Fifteen, sit on the chair, please. Sixteen, John married Mary at the age of twenty. Seventeen, I took my children with me. Eighteen, what is she doing on weekends? Nineteen, I will come back in a year. Twenty, she is in bed with a fever. Grammar test. One, I go to school on foot. Two, I often get up at six o'clock in the morning. Three, James lives in the USA. Four, he died of cancer. Five, he is the right person for the job. Six, a picture is on the wall. Seven, a lamp was hanging over the table. Eight. There is a girl between the two boys. Nine. We stayed there for three weeks. Ten. Birds are flying over the buildings. One. I go to church on Sundays. Two. I was born in May. Three. He left for Seoul. Four. There is a theater between the hotel and the hospital. Five. I was so busy at the moment. 
Six. John married Mary at the age of twenty. Seven. I will come back in a year. Eight. A picture is on the wall. Nine. A lamp was hanging over the table. Ten. He stands among the people. Lesson eight. Grammar point. One. To make a robot isn't easy. She wants to marry him. His goal is to win the game. She doesn't have money to buy the car. There isn't a chair to sit on. I'm glad to see you. They went to America to study English. Want, hope, wish, plan, promise. They don't want to fight each other. We are planning to go fishing this weekend. Two. Traveling by train is very interesting. My hobby is dancing. They finished washing the car. Thank you for inviting me. Finish. Enjoy. Mind. Stop. Give up. Would you mind opening the door? When did you finish reading the book? Three. The running boys are my sons. Look at the baby sleeping in bed. There is a broken chair beside the desk. There is a chair broken by me beside the desk. Grammar exercise. One to study math isn't easy. Two. What do you want to do tonight? Three. Do you want something to drink? Four. Her hobby is playing the violin. Five. Look at the shining star. Six. My dream was becoming a pianist. Seven. I will finish painting the wall tonight. Eight. The singing girl is my daughter. Nine. I have a lot of homework to do. Ten. This is a computer made in Hong Kong. Eleven. Did you enjoy traveling the country? Twelve. I will go to the library to borrow the book. Thirteen. The boy playing on the grass is Peter. Fourteen. They were surprised to hear the news. Fifteen. Please stop smoking. Sixteen. I hope to go to college next year. Seventeen. Look at the painted wall. Eighteen. I have no money to buy the book. Nineteen. Don't eat too much before swimming. Twenty. Did you read the book written by him? Grammar test. One. The library is very quiet. It's a good place to read. Two. Keeping a diary every day is very hard. Three. I hope to see you soon. Four. Do you know the girl playing in the garden? Five. I went to the supermarket to buy some milk. Six. There is a broken vase on the floor. Seven. I was shocked to see the accident. Eight. Do you have a pen to write with? Nine. She is good at speaking French. Ten. Do you know the boy called Peter? One. What do you want to do tonight? Two. 
Do you want something to drink? 3. My dream was becoming a pianist. 4. I will finish painting the wall today. 5. I have a lot of homework to do. 6. This is a computer made in Hong Kong. 7. Did you enjoy traveling the country? 8. They were surprised to hear the news. 9. Don't eat too much before swimming. 10. Do you know the boy called Peter?